My name is Armando and I'm a photographer, filmmaker and the initiator of Huzoindo.nl, which stands for How do you mean Indo? Have you ever questioned yourself about where you actually came from? Where are your parents from? And maybe even more important, where are your grandparents come from? For me, I knew very little about where I came from. My parents were divorced when I was five years old, so I grew up with my mother and she originally comes from West Timor, Indonesia. So I assumed I was Indonesian, but for a part I am, but my father is the Indo side of the family. He is a Dutch Indo, which is derived from the word Indo-European. Hence the shorter term for it, an Indo. But you think about it, I'm actually an Indo too. Well, this distinction made all the difference in how I live my life today. I was ashamed of not knowing where I came from and where my family came from. When and why they migrated to the Netherlands before I was born. People assumed I ate a lot of rice at home, but actually it was the opposite. I grew up with a Hollandse pot, mashed potatoes, vegetables and pork meat. The only time we ate Dutch Indo snacks is when we had visitation of Dutch people. Where the children didn't enjoy as much of those delicious Indo snacks, like pastai, lumper, lumpia, uh, kalapamuda, shizzel, which I hardly knew the name of because I always had to taste it before I knew the name of it. Back in 2004, when I was studying photography, I chose my final project to be about portraits about Indos, like me, with the intention to learn from them what, what, what was this thing, Indo thing, uh, all about. I discovered that actually nobody knew. It was a realization back then that I was not the only one who knew nothing about my heritage. But this unknown area was spread out on a whole generation. I was shocked. I believe that a little bit of awareness of your Indo roots and what the definition of Indo means to yourself and in my family helps me to get a better understanding and gives me a much broader perspective on our history and where we actually came from. Either way, I believe it's your right to know your family history. This year, the book is already sold out and um, I'm busy with the second print. I took almost 300 pictures of Indo people with their mixed feelings about their Indo identity. Right here in my studio in Gouda. Well, this December 2017 began my uh, research about Indos living abroad and overseas because I think that in itself is worth a story to tell and I would like to document interested Indos who would like to participate in my project. And you can fill out this form uh, below if you are living outside of the Netherlands. I'm very curious to see where Indos live nowadays and what uh, your story is. project is mainly focused on the third generation mixed Indo between 18 and 35 years old. Tag someone if, if you think he or she fits the project and let's meet in 2018. Eat some Indo food, nasi goreng, gado gado, spekuk or chendol and document together the Indo diaspora all over the world and let's make our history together. Peace! Oh.